Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and today we're excited to unbox the HTC Snap. This is the true successor to the HTC Excalibur, or also known as the T-Mobile Dash, and a lot of people really like the Dash because it was a small device with a great form factor, a fantastic keyboard, and a great in-hand feel. Uh, people could tap out a message on a Dash in seconds, and it was just a really productive device. And the HTC Snap brings a new keyboard, it brings a trackball in the center, which really helps with navigation, hopefully, uh, a huge battery, and also a, a feature called Inner Circle, which lets you filter out email from people that you don't want. This is the European version, uh, so it will work in the U.S., but it won't get 3G. We're going to have a release of the Snap on many U.S. carriers, um, including T-Mobile, Sprint, and Verizon. And it's likely that most global carriers, the major ones, um, will see the HTC Snap. It's going to be a very pervasive device, and so watch out for that. So let's do the unboxing. Wow. I have a feeling this is going to be a stunning looking device. Uh, very nice keyboard on the front. There's the trackball. Has a nice brush metal aluminum look to it. It's going to be a very classy device. I think the back will be covered in kind of that rubbery coating that the dash had that a lot of people liked. It made for a non slip grip. Let's take a look at what we have here Qualcomm 528 megahertz processor. 256 megabytes ROM, 192 megabytes of RAM, which is a little bit less than we like to see. Um, it's a non-touchscreen device, which is good and it's bad. It's good because you can be very productive. You don't have to reach up to touch the screen. Everything can be done with the hardware keys, and it's bad because a lot of people like touchscreens, um, and that may be a problem. But let's take a look at the device. Really excited to see what it looks like. All right, we'll put the device to the side for now. Let's see what we get in the box. Just like with the Touch Pro 2 and the Diamond 2 and most HTC devices, we get the uh, headphones here with the HTC's uh, proprietary jack here. Charger, standard. We have a battery, which is 1500 milliamp hours, which for a device like this should allow for some pretty amazing battery life. So we're really excited to see how long the battery will last on the snap. And of course we have the USB cable and some documentation and software, of course. So warranty card, accessories, quick start guide, probably not in color. HTC doesn't like to do color guides, but that's okay. And let's take a look at the device. You can already feel it's very small, much smaller than it probably looks in the pictures. Wow. Wow. Feels just like the dash, actually. It does have the rubbery coating on the back. Very smooth, extremely thin. Let's take off the, uh, the cover here. Screen is kind of small, but you have to expect that with a device like this. The trackball, super smooth. The keyboard is going to feel great. Very large keys arranged in a kind of smiley face-like pattern. Let's see how it compares in size to, say, a credit card. So as you can tell by this, a very compact device, you're not really going to feel it in your pocket. Um, it's made to be a small messaging device, and it really feels great in hand. It, it's very light right now. I can't wait to put the battery in and see how heavy it is. So let's compare it to some similar devices. Here's the Q9H, which was an extremely popular device thanks to an amazing keyboard and really well-optimized uh, hardware key layout. Similar design, although the snap is not as wide and is not as tall and is not as thick. So think about it like a smaller Q9H. We're going to do some keyboard tests to determine which keyboard is actually better. So let's compare it to the old uh, Blackjack 2, which went under many names throughout the world. Again, the snap is smaller. It looks actually a little bit wider. But the, key, the keys are closer together. Here they are spread out in terms of thickness. The snap is thinner, which is great. And how about the Propel Pro? with the smiley face keyboard from Samsung. Um, the keys are definitely bigger on the snap, and it's much, much thinner. And just for the sake of comparison, next to the HTC Touch Pro 2, it's shorter, of course. It's going to be much thinner. And if you want to 
compare the keyboards, although this isn't really a fair comparison. Here they are. It's a much smaller keyboard, but I think it's going to be really well optimized for ergonomics and the like. So a lot more coming on the HTC Snap. I know a lot of people are really waiting for this device, and we're going to have multiple video reviews including a full review coming up on pocketnow.com soon. For more and to know exactly when the video is hit, follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. We'll be back with more soon.